Nearly 14 years ago, a young British woman with a mesmerizing, incredibly breathtaking voice and singing skills emerged from nowhere and swept the masses off their feet in mere months. Everyone fell in love with her beautiful voice, lyrics, and beats. Today, her massive fan base includes people of all ages from around the world. Yet, Adele, the queen of the new age, is still a mystery. She is rarely photographed unless she is at an event. She has always cherished her privacy and never felt obligated to explain why. Her secrecy added curiosity and a sense of elusiveness to her unique super-famous character and her music, too. She is refreshingly honest and candid when she does speak publicly, and she is quite funny and friendly, too. As it seems, she takes her music quite seriously, but not herself, making her seem incredibly grounded despite her status as one of the highest-selling artists on the planet. Stay tuned to learn more about the beautiful singer, her massive fortune, her new love life, and her reasons for disappearing for years mere months after releasing each album. In 2016, she vanished from the scene which was not quite something new. Anyone who has followed Adele since her early days will find that she tends to follow the same pattern when it comes to the albums she releases. After releasing an album and promoting it, possibly going on tour, she then withdraws from public life for a few years. She recently explained that she simply needs to recharge between albums and related activities, otherwise she would feel emotionally and mentally overwhelmed and drained. We all know Adele for her powerful vocals and immense range, but she is also a very talented songwriter and has written most of the songs on all four of her albums. Hence, it is obvious that she uses her free time between albums to write her amazing songs, which can be time-consuming. Nevertheless, it took her six years to come back since her last album, 25, and she did re-emerge in October 2021 and took the internet by surprise when she shared a teaser video for her new single, Easy On Me. The teaser was followed by a global series of billboards around the world projecting the number 30, spotted in notable landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Rome's Colosseum, and near the top of the Empire State Building in New York. Of course, we all guessed back then that she is paving the way for another bestseller, documenting important junctures in her secret mysterious life. Her album 30 was released on November 19, 2021. It was stunningly beautiful. The album hit number one on the US Billboard Top 200 Albums charts. The album also hit number one in Germany, France, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Ireland, Canada, Australia, and many other countries too numerous to mention. The fans were hungry, and the album even became the biggest selling album in the United States in one week. It was obvious from her powerful poetic and metaphorical lyrics throughout the album that her words were inspired by her divorce, motherhood, fame, and heartache. It also expresses themes of acceptance and hope. The latest album seemed to differ from previous ones. It is a mix of pop, soul, and even jazz songs. It has been described as her best creative work so far. American jazz pianist Errol Garner appears on the track All Night Parking as a guest act, marking the first time an artist is featured on a standard album by Adele. It was rightfully acclaimed for its cinematic instrumentation, vocal performances, and introspective lyrics. Adele, by all means, is a legendary phantom phenomenon. Even non-English speakers love to hear her songs. Adele was born in Tottenham, London on May 5, 1988, under the name Adele Laurie Blue Atkins. She was raised by her mother Penny Atkins after her father left them when she was merely two years of age. He was in touch with her until her teenage years, but his problems with alcohol led to a deterioration of the relationship and eventual estrangement. He passed away in May 2021 after a long battle with cancer. Sadly, she reconciled with him mere days before he passed away. One can imagine how she felt. Now we can only wait for Adele, the deeply emotional musical poetic phantom, to translate her feelings in a few years in the next album about her father's death. Adele began to sing when she was only six years old, but did not become truly inspired until the age of 14 when she found the collection of Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald at her local music store. 
In 2006, she graduated from the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in Croydon. And after a friend posted a three-song demo on MySpace, her career took off. It was not until late 2008 when the world heard her voice and powerful words as she released her debut album, 19. The album featured two popular lead singles, Hometown Glory and Chasing Pavements. The result was immediate overnight fame. The album sold over 2.2 million copies in the first few months, and with it also won her first Grammy Award. She became a multimillionaire faster than she can write more songs. Adele released her second studio album 21 in 2011. It became the world's best-selling album of the 21st century, with sales of over 31 million copies. It was certified 18x platinum in the UK and diamond in the US. In 2012, she composed and recorded the theme song titled Skyfall for the 00 James Bond movie. In 2015, she released her third album 25, which became the best-selling album that year. The next year, she would go on a tour. And everywhere was sold out. As for the concerts in North America, over 10 million people tried to buy one of the 750,000 available tickets. So far, Adele has sold over 100 million records worldwide, bringing her tens of millions of dollars in profits. If Adele was into marketing, sponsorship, and endorsement, she would be a billionaire by now. But she is a truly profound, humble artist with a complex, deep artistic mind and personality. She never cared so much about wealth and was content with her new limited riches that simply could have been so much higher. Almost all of her income came from record sales, concert tours, awards, and television shows. All of her concert tours combined generated gross revenue of about $500 million. Today, Adele has an estimated net worth of $225 million. She definitely likes classical kitschy luxurious housing properties. In 2012, she paid $4.9 million for an 18th century manor house in Sussex in addition to two adjacent houses in Kensington, with a combined value of about $14 million. Her small property empire in England also includes a $6.1 million seaside house in Hove. In 2016, she bought a Beverly Hills villa for $9.5 million, where she neighbors Penelope Cruz, Jennifer Lawrence, Zoe Saldana, and Nicole Richie, among other celebrities. Her last purchase was a $58 million breathtaking mansion in Beverly Park that was previously owned by Sylvester Stallone. Interestingly, she took a $34 million mortgage on the last property. Unfortunately, she is not all that much into cars. She only owns a Land Rover and Porsche that combined have a value of about $250,000. Yet I am quite sure she might appreciate a Bugatti if she tried one. And of course, with her deep pockets, she can afford it along with a few more Italian exotic beasts. She recently moved into her new lavish mansion with her boyfriend NBA sports agent Rich Paul. Adele loves luxury fashion and seems to be particularly interested in brands such as Lynn's Farrow, Christian Louboutin, Burberry, and Chanel. She retains the services of stylist Gal Paul to ensure she looks her best, especially at red carpet events. Rumors have it that she is engaged and set to be married to Rich Paul. In November 2021, four months after going public with her relationship, Adele was spotted wearing a gold band on her ring finger. She also wore during the 2022 Brit Awards a black velvet Armani private gown, which she accessorized with a pear-shaped rock from Lorraine Schwartz. So we can assume that she might be already married, or maybe not. Yet another Adele mystery. As of November 18th, 2022, Adele will become a resident of Las Vegas for about five months where she will dazzle the audiences across 32 shows. She is set to stay for free at the Nobu Hotel at Keezer's Palace in their $30,000 a night penthouse suite, which has its own Zen garden and built-in Italian-made whirlpool. Additionally, she can order all she wants at no expense. Her Vegas tour means that she is following in the footsteps of music greats, including Maria Carey, Celine Dion, Cher, Sir Elton John, and Jennifer Lopez. She will also be paid about $45 million. Thank you for watching. 
do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit the notification button to get updates on our latest videos that cover the hard-to-track and elusive luxury, net worth, and business issues associated with our beloved rather secretive celebrities.